Okay, question three. Let's check out. So the lifetime X in tens of hours of a battery is modeled by the property density function. Okay, so here's the PDF. Now, use algebraic integration to find the expected value. Okay, this is um, very straightforward, yeah? If we know the definition of expected value, I can write over here, EX, at least in terms of integration, is always the integral from the limits, let's say A to B, of X times FX. Simple as that, that's all it is. It's always this case. So in other words, we just have to multiply X to the density function. So this is gonna be equal to the integral. So we, so let's just, let's just fix, simplify this, yeah? If you want to integrate this, you can take the cosine, so it'll be 1 over 9 for a second. So it'll be the integral from the limits 1 to 4 of all of this times x. So if you multiply this out, so it'll be 4x minus x squared. And then if you times x in front of it, you're going to get exactly 4x squared minus x cubed dx. All right, so this is the main thing. Now, this is quite straightforward. It's very linear. So ignoring the 1 over 9, integrating this, you should get 4x cubed over 3 minus x to the power 4 over 4. From And then you just evaluate from 1 to 4. Yeah, and uh, that's really it. And then when you do that, so you've got 1 over 9. Firstly, you just plug in 4. So when you plug in 4, what do you get? Minus, and then when you plug in 1, you should get... Uh, Hold on. Uh, 12, I mean. So the final result should be 64 over 3 minus answer times 1 over 9. 9 over 4. So you should get 9 over 4 as a result. Yeah, pretty straightforward, actually. That's what you do.